r slash ask reddit millionaires of reddit how did you become so wealthy in my 20s i was a computer programmer just as the web started exploding in popularity i could wire up websites and databases back when internet technologies were new and tooling was still primitive i never hit it big with a viral website like facebook or amazon but i did charge a lot for programming services and i used that money to buy houses at first and ultimately an apartment building in coastal California in my 40s now. I don't feel very wealthy really. Oddly, I still check prices when shopping, and I plan to drive my old jeep until it dies. When I travel, I often pay to fly first class, and I do enjoy the nicer hotels. But, other than that, I live, and spend, rather simply. Same here. Started at a late 90s era.com. We went public and I was suddenly worth 8 figures in my 20s. Cashed out before the crash. Always saved up a lot of money, 40% of my pay, and continually put it into stocks. Investment returns have outdone my savings for quite a while. How do you know which stocks to invest in? I've invested since I was 18. I have a degree in economics and deep interest in the markets. But honestly I don't know anything. I have a diversified portfolio of 10 different stocks and different fields. Theory says that's too little. But I don't care. The different stock is all listed on the most traded index in my country. I come from Denmark. So it's the OMXC20 index. The thing is. Stocks in general increase in value over time. Sure some of my stocks are in red. But most are in black. Some drop 30%. Others gain 40%, but year on year, my portfolio increases about the market average of 7%. That's including years of financial turmoil, financial crisis. In my opinion, the worst you can do with your money is to not invest it. Well, last year my fianke's grandparents won a stupid amount of money in the lotto, double digit millions. They were generous enough to share with the family. I grew up below the poverty line so my life is nuts rn. Edit. I'm a girl. For one. Two. I am in fact choosing to do stuff with my life. As I'm not an idle person mooching off of a very lucky break. His money is placed in a trust and we have many financial advisors. And we are not cleared to buy anything without approval. And what we don't use is invested by the bank who runs the trust. I don't really care for advice since I'm just reaping the rewards. So far, we bought my fianke's childhood home his father built. Which is in one of the most sought after neighborhoods in my city. And we're loving the security we have as homeowners. We took an amazing trip in June. Where he proposed right on the banks of the river Ness in Inverness. Scotland. It was pretty magical guys. And no. My ring is not exorbitant. Having the money hasn't changed us as a couple. As we spent a year and a half living in a bachelor suite the size of a one car garage and still love each other. So. At this point it's a done deal. We're together for good. And are getting married next. Also. I signed a cohabitation agreement but we agreed that I am not signing a prenup. And my name will be added to the title of the house after marriage. And the cohabitation agreement nullifies, making everything but the trust, mine. So if in the highly unlikely case of divorce, I can go after him for half of everything but the trust, as it is owned by his grandparents, but he is beneficiary. Pretty nutty stuff and I'm genuinely surprised they didn't force me into a prenup. Woman shrugging. If Reddit has taught me one thing, you should never win the lotto and tell anybody else, especially family. But glad for you dude and please don't kill your fiancé and or grandparents. I enlisted in the army when I was 18. I liked it. I asked to become an officer. And they let me. The army sent me to college and I graduated. My officer pay was way higher and in the army you don't have very many bills. I found I could save in between 1k and 5k every month of my life. After my second deployment I was sitting on about 200k. I hired a financial manager. He did well a few years. I bought and rented out a couple houses. I've got 17 years in the army. Creeping closer to a portfolio worth 2 million dollars and a good pension in retirement. I'm about to make lieutenant colonel. I'm in my late 30s. Just grind and save. Edit. Gold. Thanks. I should add that this job really sucks and I hate it a lot of the time. But due to the peaks and valleys of monetary motivation I have to do it for a few more years. As a future army officer, this makes me smile. 
they should have stuck you in finance. I live in Eastern Europe. In 1990 I took out a huge loan and bought 10 apartments and furnished them. I rent them out to people and with the money I earn from them I pay off the loan payments. I do this every 10 years. I have now 30 apartments and one employee who I pay to may I not the I hauling them and make sure payments and maintenance is handled. The key is finding good tenants and may I not the I hauling a good relationship with them. It is not that hard but a key to this strategy. How do you take out huge loans without any securities? Though, sure, this plan will work once you have your first few apartments. But how do you get there in the first place? I sell overpriced consultancy time to CTOs who don't know any beta. Well I mean technically you get a consultant in the first place because you don't know any better. I am on track of being a millionaire by just investing in my 401k. I started my career at 20 years old right after graduating from college and started investing the minimum to my 401k. Never really thought much of it until I did those calculators and realized that since I started so young the compound interest on any investment account with a decent return would be huge. I would recommend you just put anything away. Everyone tells you to max your investments but honestly not everyone can invest $18k a year. Do the math of how much $200 a month will grow in 30 years. This might not be the exact answer but this will easily get you to be a millionaire at some point. Parents died. Edit. If you're gonna make a Batman joke just know that you're not at all clever, original, or funny. It turns out you were always a millionaire. You logs. Converted all of my money into Zimbabwean dollars. Brilliant. I just printed 5 bucks it was hella easy. We have such an inflation problem I'm worth several billion. Being frugal. Not buying new cars. Not caring about what others think. Saving and investing and doing it again. Not making knee jerk investments. Letting them ride long term and not freaking out at every market correction. For me it was a slow game, but fun to watch it take off. The stock market is a tool for transferring wealth from the impatient to the patient. Search is this thread for a sugar daddy. Not there yet but getting there. STEM degree for both wife and I. I bag my lunch and drink from waterfowl I not the I holine. I eat out with co-workers maybe once a month. Fill up my trusty clean canteen bottle daily with the free ice from cafeteria and water from the water fower not the eye holine. In my lower 30s right now. Have a $500k house. Bought 2 years ago. About 40% paid off. And hope to pay it off completely well before I turn 40. Currently about $350k in bank between liquid and stocks. Currently driving a 9 year old Scion. Wife has a 13 year old Camry. Daughter's toys are from the thrift store. Haven't had cable TV ever. Love Costco and Walmart. Love looking at deal sites. That doesn't mean we do not enjoy life. We've been backpacking in Europe. Have visited Dubai. Bahamas. Bermuda. Puerto Rico. Vegas numerous times. Canada numerous times. Going to Cali in less than a month. My philosophy is this. You get rich by acting poor in things that really don't please your heart. We like traveling. So we do that. I like photography. So I have a DSLR. Wife likes nail polish. So she has like a big box full of them. I don't care much about food. So I bag it and we rarely eat out. Same with our cars. Live simply. Invest and spend wisely. Love unconditionally. What if I love food? Cars and traveling? STEM degree plus minimalism. My econ professor uses a prepaid phone the cheapest plan you can get. I'm a millionaire with 3 prepaid phones. I finally rode first class for the first time back in July and the first thing I noticed was everybody else had 2 phones. So naturally I pulled out my third one just to show them I belonged. I'm a millionaire with 3 prepaid phones. Drug dealer confirmed. CS major and this is exactly what I'm banking on to acquire real wealth. I've been in the industry for over 10 years and have a dual masters in engineering as well. While it definitely put me in the upper middle class, I wouldn't bank on it. If you really want to move make sure you don't just rely on CS and tech to build your wealth. Either learn finance or some other trade to go with your tech programming skills or you'll end up being a code monkey your whole career. Just 2 cents from someone who had been in the industry a while.
I also came from a fairly poor background so I'm not complaining about what I have achieved so far. I sold 18% of my company for a large sum of money and we worked together to expand. My first million was the hardest to attain. It took me a good 10 to 15 years to find the perfect bank near the highway. A safe cracker that's not a complete ducking idiot. And an inside man that's not going to fold under a little bit of stress. Once I got my perfect team, getting the million was easy. The second was easier now that I got some experience under my belt. Honestly that's how I'm going to do it. If not I'm going to work as a software developer of some kind. Haven't received my million yet, but my new Nigerian prince friend is going to call me with directions after I send him some of my bank info to make the transfer. My Nigerian prince friend is so kind he wanted me to deposit $200 on his account and he will transfer his treasures to my account. He said he is not scammer I believe him. Bro, you made it to the end? You're a ducking mad lad. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content more It's free and that's a great price.